here's the thing I've never actually done this um, this is the first time but I'm really really excited because books have always been a great great part of my life and I've always just read a lot of books and I've never, I don't think I've ever shared with you stuff that I really enjoyed reading and I think it would be cool. And a lot of people have been asking me on Twitter to give book recommendations and I think that this is the best way to be able to communicate um, uh, what I think of some of my favorite books. Anyway, I'm really, really excited to tell you that I collaborated with one of my favorite stores in this whole archipelago, fully booked, um, to come up with a list of reading recommendations for you this month of March and it's a mix of some of my favorite books and also some newer releases that um, I think would be interesting for you guys to read so first off let me start with this book called One More Thing it's by BJ Novak if you've ever um, watched the US version of The Office you might know him from there he's also one of the writers there and this book is one of my favorite 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 books I have a pretty good collection of um, short stories and this easily tops that list, at least like in the top one or two. Each and every story has a, an unexpected twist and that's kind of what I want in every book that I'm reading. I'm really into plot driven books and this book was great. It is definitely my cup of tea and I think that you should check it out if you are into um, short stories at all or just into fun reads. I don't know if you've ever read The Sympathizer, but it is an award-winning first novel by Viet Thanh Nguyen. And this book is a collection of his short stories. It's called The Refugees. And it's about Vietnamese refugees um, trying to make, trying to grasp their sense of identity as they move from Vietnam to other, other countries. And um, the characters in here are all very memorable and they all have very unique situations. And uh, the language is also very beautiful. It's an easy read. It's relatively short and it's just great. It's just, it's a great book and it will open you up to a lot of uh, ideas about um, the turmoil in Vietnam before. Now I'm gonna move on to like the more graphic, um, graphic books in this list. So the first one is called Deep Dark Fears. It's by Fran Krauss and I believe Fran um, Fran, first name basis, guys. Um, Fran crowdsourced um, fears on Twitter or Tumblr and translated those the best ones into like beautiful illustrations, such as these ones. And it's a quick read as well. You could just read it in one sitting, but don't. You should savor it, I think. And it's just really awesome and really funny as well, and so relatable. There are a lot of fears that I could relate to, like falling on the floor and then biting accidentally biting your tongue off so it's, it's terrible this next one is a cross between like fiction and graph novel well not really it just has illustrations but it's Romeo and or Juliet by Ryan North and it is what it sounds like it is a choose your own adventure take on Shakespeare a Shakespeare classic and I love this book uh, at first I thought it was just like a gimmicky way to get people to read Shakespeare but well yeah it is but it's great and this what well, this made classic literature very accessible and very easy to read it also features original text from the from the play it also smashes a lot of traditional tropes um, for for fiction and you can either choose to be Romeo or Juliet in this book you can also unlock additional characters and what's great about it is the ending doesn't have to be Romeo saving Romeo coming to the rescue of Juliet or something like that. This is for readers who don't like committing to long stories. This um, is perfect because the stories can be very short or can be very long depending on how you like choose. So this is good. The next book I want to talk about is so beautiful, so gorgeous, and I think you're all going to love this book. It's also very timely because a movie is just about to come out this week, and as you can guess, it is The Beauty and the Beast, and this version is gorgeous. It is the English adaptation of the original French, and it is designed by Mina Lima, which is the design studio behind the Harry Potter films. And if that isn't enough to make you want to buy this book right now, I don't know what else will. Maybe when I do open this book, um, it is filled with lots of brilliant um, pop-ups and inserts that just accompany the story. Um, they also have Jungle Book and Peter Pan of the same edition 
and with all the other interactive elements as well. So if you want to, if you're curious, you can check it out on Fully Booked. The next book that I want to talk about is a very, very short piece of fiction, which I read in one sitting, and yet it is so beautiful. It's not really short of any substance at all. It's Goshar Gashar. I actually am not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly because it is um, a colloquial term that was invented within this book um, and it is translated from the original Kannada which is um, a native language in India and this is about an Indian family. Um, they're very simple. They're almost at the brink of um, poverty and then their uncle find, suddenly um, finds overnight success with a spice company that he establishes and this book talks about the shift in family dynamics as they move from having very little money to having a lot of it and you kind of marvel at the sidelines at how, at how relationships get strained within this book. This book um, gives, the, gives each of the characters a shining moment through every chapter and the details are so rich that even though the author is talking about um, Indian culture in, very, in a very specific manner, I found myself relating to a lot of things um, in this book in the way in which they did sort of like small tasks. It's quick, um, it's super thin. Pick this up because it's such a short read, but it will, um, it will really enrich your um, appreciation for your family, I think. Last but not the least, I want to talk about um, a non-fiction book and this is a genre that I actually have been reading more more of. This is also a, a biography and it's the Young Reader's Edition of Elon Musk's biography. It is. It features a really great um, cover. It's short, the text is kind of huge and it has a few pictures um, but I I learned so much about the life of Elon Musk. If you don't know Elon Musk, he is the man behind PayPal, Tesla Motors, um, uh, a car company that focuses on electric cars, and Solar City, and also SpaceX. Elon Musk is a very, very ambitious man. He is a very enigmatic and strong-willed leader and is not afraid to invest millions and millions of dollars behind an idea that he really believes in because he wants to change the world and he has a very clear vision and over the past few years he has already made such a huge impact on technology and the automotive industry and the energy industry and um, also space exploration and space travel he's just a very interesting personality and I think you've learned a lot from this book I actually have the original um, biography of Elon Musk as well so I have um, like a point of comparison even though this is labeled as a young reader's um, version I didn't feel like it was the information was downplayed I just feel like it's a more concise version of the hefty biography of Elon Musk if you are interested in science at all or just enigmatic figures behind great um, great global companies then this is a good um, place to start. Anyway, that's all that I have for today. I sincerely hope that you can pick up a few books that I mentioned or at least check them out. Comment down below and tell me which of the books that I mentioned you've already read or you're interested in reading and if you picked up a copy because of my like reading recommendations then I would love to hear all about it. Stay tuned for like more updates like this. As I've said, books are a huge part of my life and I want to do more of this and I definitely want to share the things that I love with all of you. And thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting and informative.